We are here just outside Shenzhen with BYD and we're, today we're looking at the CLU, which is the next step up from the Atto 3. What I'm going to do is have a look around the outside, have a look around the inside, take it out for a track, first drive, first impressions. So make sure if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. We're on a big drive to get to 15,000 subscribers here on the channel. So let's get started. Here we are with the BYD Seal U. And so this is the next step up from the Atto 3 with that Ocean Design Series language in the front with it. The difference between this and the Atto 3 is that, that is the EV front design language. You've got that dragon face, whereas this is very much smoothed off. And so you can see the big BYD sign there. You've got those high low beam modules and that daytime running light, the DRL. And you've got that design there. And then all the way along, you've got that large blanked off grill. You've got some active cooling for the battery and underneath and your sensors and your 360 degree camera. 19 inch wheels on this. You've got that silver roof rails. You've got the chrome all the way around the window. You've got the NFC holder tap here. You've got that indicator built in with that retractable. You've got a nice interesting crease here where the body panels actually are separated with the boot. So it's like a clamshell. And then you've got that shoulder line that comes all the way along to the back of the car then. You've got your shark fin area at the top, high level brake light with your wiper. And then you've got 570 litres. So great size. Pockets either side, subfloor. And then with the seats down, it's 1,449. Charging on the BYD CLU is 11 kilowatt on AC and up to 140 kilowatt. So it's about 28 minutes, 30 to 80%. You can see BYD tech there. That's the side profile of it. Yeah, good size. For families, etc. So again, let's sit in the front. You can see the BYD seal there. There's another video on the channel if you haven't already watched it. Got that large 15.6 inch screen and you can rotate it. Got the dual wireless charging pads. You've got your crystal mode selector, your, your hazard lights, automatic handbrake, um, your automatic air conditioning start stop button par uh, parking with your dual cup holders behind it interesting stitching is in green and then that led behind the uh, actual panel seems to be different colors depending on what you go for this one has a head-up display large digital driver screen three spoke steering wheel as well with physical buttons not actual haptics and that will allow you to change that screen there as well on, this, on the steering wheel. Left is lights and indicators, right is wipers. On the door card, you have a Unify, sorry, an Infinity sound system, all your controls. So yeah, and again, large space in underneath that center console. Do it from this side. And you've got some more charging points in underneath there as well. You can see a 12 volt and you can see a USB Type-C and a Type A glove box. Decent size. Get it in camera behind you, Derek. So yeah, seats are lovely, as always, with BYD. And you can see it has the green stitch in there. This is just a bit bigger uh, than the Atto 3 if you're looking for a bit more space. That seat is set for me. You have up in the head unit as well, you've got your sunglass holder. So let's have a seat in the back. You've got that BYD design. Down here, you've got your Infinity sound system. Oh yeah. Lots of room. So you can see there. And I've got the ability to keep my feet in underneath. That's a dual pano sunroof. And then headroom. Lots, even in the chair, two, three centimeters, even nice. 
On the back here you have two USB type C's, um, your vents, and you also have ISOFIX in the front passenger seat and two in the rear. You can see you can get access into the boot there via the So that is the seal U. Before I take it out for a drive, some more stats about the BYD seal U. This D segment SUV dimensions it's 4785 millimeters long by 1890 millimeters wide by 1668 millimeters high. Wheelbase of 2.765 meters. It is front wheel drive with a top speed of 175 kilometers per hour and it's a 160 kilowatt motor. 0 to 100 kilometers an hour acceleration on the comfort is 9.3 and on the design is 9.6 and those 19 inch wheels the range on the comfort is 420 kilometers wltp and 500 kilometers on the design trim which has a bigger battery we talked about the volume of the boot or the trunk at 570 liters and that's 1449 liters with the seats down it's a blade battery lfp and the capacity on the comfort is 71.8 and 87 kilowatt hours on the design ac charging is one, 11 kilowatts on uh, ac and then on dc it's 115 kilowatts on the comfort and 140 kilowatt peak on the design dc charging time 28 minutes 30 to 80 percent and 29 minutes on the design 30 to 80s heat pumps will come out standard and also there will be a vehicle to load function as well if you're trying to compare size wise it is the exact same wheelbase as a volkswagen id4 but a slightly longer slightly wider and slightly higher so just to give you an idea let's take it out for a drive here we are on a couple of laps around a track just outside Shenzhen. It's going to be above the Atto 3 within that byd range a very nice spacious suv and we're able to bring it around the track just to put it through its paces the first track is kind of like a warming lap the first lap is kind of a, a warning a warming up lap just so you can get used to it steering wheel is actually very light and manageable there's a bit of a chicane circuit coming up and brakes are good visibility is great great size wing mirrors seating position is nice as well so we've already had a look around the outside of it. We're expecting this in Ireland probably towards the end of this year, early next year in 2024. But yeah, nice. It's got that larger 15.6 inch screen that we chatted about earlier on as well. The double wireless charging pads. That head up display is good. And I just have to take it nice and slow around the first lap. But in lap number two, I'm able to give it a bit more beans. Now, this has a 0 to 109.6 seconds. So it's not going to beat anybody on the drag strip. But it's not, this is not what it's for. It's an electric SUV for the family. Seats are very comfortable. It's a large SUV. You have a lot going on. I think on this lap I can give it a bit more, can't I? Suspension is nicely weighted as well. It's not too firm and not too soft. And the chicane really shows that there isn't too much body roll. I think the person that was driving this before me knocked that cone on the first bit of the chicane, so we won't mention any names here. Yeah, nice. I always get a couple of comments in this uh, in when I do stuff like this whether I'm taking the racing line or not you'll also note that anytime there's sunny weather I wear this shirt it came out in Corfu when I was driving the Citroen Ami and it is 33 degrees here today in Shenzhen because of the humidity it feels like 41 degrees so I'm actually melting as an Irish person Hopefully you've enjoyed the first impressions video. We are going to get this in right hand drive on the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know if this is on your shopping list. Like the video and share it. And remember, if you think an EV is for you, leave it to me and I'll review. Thank you very much for watching.